Hi guys! My name is Greta and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you very simple steps that will make your makeup last longer. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. So the number one step is to use a makeup primer. So probably most of you already know what a makeup primer is, but for the sake of those who don't know yet, a primer is a product applied on the skin as a base coat before applying makeup on. So this helps the makeup adhere or stick on the skin better and making the makeup last longer. So after applying moisturizer and sunblock, I'll be using this primer from Benefit. So you can use other primer that you prefer. There are a lot of different primers in the market. But for me, this is the one that works well with my skin. So yeah, I'll only be applying um, a pea size and then I'll just be spreading it on my face. Number two is to use a beauty blender or a sponge. So I will be applying my foundation with a wet beauty blender. So this just helps press the foundation into my pores. So it will help create that more natural look and also helps make my foundation last longer. So depending on the level of coverage that you want, you can apply more product later and then just dab or pat it on the skin gently. The third technique is baking. So what is baking? So according to lbeauty.com, baking is a long wear makeup technique where loose powder is applied over the concealer for a few minutes. So the body heat and the loose powder will set the makeup and prevent crease and cakey makeup, especially under the eyes and the T-zone. So I have found this effective guys, so that's why I am using or I'm doing it. So I will be applying my concealer first and then bake it afterwards. So before I bake, what I usually do is apply my contour quickly. So some, they apply the loose powder right after the concealer. Um, for me, I just usually quickly contour my face and then apply the loose powder. So we have different techniques. We have our own techniques. So whatever works for you better, then, you know, just follow it. So I'll just um, do the contour. So now I will be baking. So I will be using loose powder um, under the eyes. So this is usually the area where um, I find that the makeup gets cakey. So I will only be applying it on this area. However, for those people who tend to get oily, you can also apply it on the T-zone if you want. So I will be leaving the loose powder on for a few minutes. So while waiting, I will just be doing my eyebrows and then brush the powder off later. So this allows it to set the concealer that was placed under the eyes. So 
So after doing my eyebrows, I will now be brushing the loose powder off. The last and final tip or step is to use a setting spray after you applied all the makeup on. So what is a setting spray? So according to adorebeauty.com, a setting spray is a spray that forms a barrier or protective layer over the makeup to lock it in and hold the makeup in place for longer. So let me just apply my complete makeup on and then apply the setting spray afterwards. So now that I have finished applying my full makeup on, I will be using this setting spray from Urban Decay. So as I've mentioned, there are a lot of setting spray available in the market, so you can check out guys so this brand or this product really works for me uh, because it's oil free and i find it really effective that's why i'm using it so you can also check them out guys otherwise there are different brands um, you can check them as well whatever works for you so it's about trying and finding um, what brand works with your skin well so this is the final look guys so as you can see my skin looks hydrated and my makeup looks fresh so i hope you like this video guys please do try it if you like your makeup to last longer if it works for you please let me know in the comments below until then i'll see you on my next vlog always take care and god bless
To fall back into you. 